Hi there, welcome to Kerry Shaves. Nice to see you, nice to be back here shaving. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, it's Friday, 14th of February. I hope that you get what you deserve after spending all that money on flowers, chocolates, uh, earrings, bracelets, etc, etc. Um, yeah, I hope it was worth it. <laughs> right, um, today's shave is uh, a good one. Some new products. Uh, this is uh, the new razor from Sheldon at Global Shave, you can see it there. This is the Replispeed Safety Razor. Comes in this nice little package. I'll just get this out. And here it is here, uh, comes in this pouch. And now this is a replica of a 1949 Gillette Super Speed. So here it is here. Um, I've never used a Super Speed but it's uh, very nicely made. It's a twist to open, you turn the bottom here, like so, and the doors open like that. And there is the inside of the razor. Yeah, good weight to it. I'll put uh, the links for the website and you can check it out. Now you'll notice when, when I turn this to tighten it up, uh, the handle moves up a little bit. Yeah, so, but when it's closed, it all looks it looks like a, a one-piece handle. Well, it is, but it doesn't look like there's a twist on the bottom. Look, it's just um, dropping down a little bit there. Very good, though. Looks great. And it comes with one of these Gillette Wilkinson sword blades. Uh, these are Indian, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I like them. I like them. They're good blades, so I'm just going to put that straight into the razor. Um, brand new blade. Wilkinson Sword, a Gillette product. So they are Gillette blades. It says on there. Wilkinson Sword stainless, but it also says on this side uh, Wilkinson Sword, a Gillette product. So what I'll do is I'll just drop the blade in there over that bar. There it is in there. And I'll twist the bottom here and you'll be able to see the doors closing. Like that and all tightens down nicely yeah nice little razor very nice uh, Global Shave are putting out some good stuff just now they have lots of razors um, some people have said that they're flooding the market but I think that's a good thing it gives more people more choice so here we go and we'll use that today um, a good bit of overhang sticking out at the sides just like the old Gillette's would have had blade alignment yeah Spot on. Okay, I'm going to use some pre-shave, so I'm going to get that on just now. This is the True Fit and Hill Ultimate Comfort Pre-Shave Oil. Uh, this has a, a citrusy scent to it. Probably about three or four drops there. Just rub it into the hand, warm it up, and then work it into the bristles on the face. Yeah, like a, a citrus peel. Just uh, yeah, very silky feeling. It's not cheap for a pre-shave oil, um, but it smells lovely. Doesn't smell oily at all. Right, that'll do. I'll just uh, I'll leave that to work into the bristles, and uh, just clearing the top there. Yeah, so that's the bottle there. It has a, the, the Truth and Hill, can you see that on the top? TNH, Truth and Hill, established 1805. Quite a while ago now. <laughs> the brush I'm going to be using, well, as this is Valentine's Day and um, some of you going out on Valentine's dates tonight might um, encounter some of these. So this is the Gold Digger brush from that Dan Rob. Uh, there's Rob's coin in the bottom. I think he's changed them now. Just, um, I don't think it has this on the bottom, I think it just has his um, kind of face there. Yeah, so gold digger, uh, synthetic knot, um, I can't remember what this is called, is that a boss knot, I think it is? Yeah, dark, dark fibres, so that there. Uh, the soap is 
from Black Ship Grooming. Now I have another Black Ship Grooming soap and I've used it a while, quite a while ago now. It was uh, gifted from Alex De Leon. This is another one gifted very kindly from Ernie Rocha. Thank you Ernie. This is Siren Song um, and Black Ship Grooming if you don't know uh, all their soaps have a like a, not, a nautical, well a pirate, a pirate themed. They're all pirate themed. Uh, beautiful label. Look at that. Really nice. Um, I'll give you a look at the ingredients. There they are there. And it says, listen to her song and smell her intoxicating mix of lavender, fur, lang lang, bergamot and patchouli. So, um, yeah, that's the soap there. I'll give you a look at the soap. Comes in this nice, nicely packaged. Here's the soap, quite soft. Nice scent on it. I get the, uh, I can get some of the fur and the lavender. Very good though, smells great. Um, right, before I go on, I've got a note here because I meant to mention this in a previous video. Some people always say, some people always say, some people ask me to give shout outs and mentions and stuff like that. So uh, I'm gonna give one out to Eliud Aguilar uh, and his kids are called Esteban and Timothy. Uh, Esteban is 12 years old and Timothy is seven. And he says Esteban is getting a little bit of a moustache. So, very good. So, hello Esteban and hello Timothy. I hope you're doing good and you're watching the Kevy Shoes video and enjoying them. Um, and I hope your dad is going to treat you to something nice now after me giving you all a mention on this video. There we go. Okay, let's uh, wet the brush. That pre-shave's worked in. The brush here, squeeze it out a little bit, and we'll just go straight into the soap. What are you doing for Valentine's night? Are you going out with a friend or hoping to get a new friend? Oh, the scent's really coming out now, that's lovely. Yeah, I was in a I was in the, one of the supermarkets today and uh, I was looking at the prices of flowers and chocolates and stuff like that and everything goes up in price for Valentine's Day. You go in tomorrow and it's like a quarter of the price it was today. But um, there you go. I guess that's how business works, isn't it? Cashing in on days like this and you'll still have um, guys running out to these stores at six o'clock tonight. <laughs> Just before their partners or wives or girlfriends come in and, oh, it's the 14th of February, oh my God, I'll have to run to the, to the, the local garage <laughs> to get flowers. Okay, just going to wet the tips of that brush again. Just gather some more. So I'll put a bit of water there in the brush. I think that'll be enough. Looks kind of pasty. Let's just put what's in the tub here on the face. Yeah, it's a nice, nice scent. Very nice scent, actually. Right, let's uh, start putting this on. And I can see straight away that it's really dry. That's okay, we'll just see where we are. Just dip the tips of the brush there. I have about um, three days growth here. Let me just uh, clear this up. Yeah, so um, Mrs. Kerry, as you guys know, uh, my wife, she knows her way to a man's heart. Up there, up there, uh, chocolates, little mini eggs, <laughs> little chocolate eggs covered in in like a sugary shell. I'm still sure though. Cadbury's mini egg. Yeah, there's one or two left. I've had some. Come on, it's Valentine's Day. 
I'm just celebrating like, like the rest of them. <laughs> Put some more water in the brush here. This is a great brush. Nice lather. I think I can take some more water. Do you make as much mess as this when you're lathering up your soaps? <laughs> as much mess as this as me. When I'm finished here, the bathroom wall here that you can't see, it looks like it's uh, it's look like it looks like it's just been a uh, Freshly plastered, it's all little dots of white <laughs> lather. Adding more water. Brilliant stuff. Beautiful scent. A nice, um, it smells clean. Great um, blend. I'm getting the uh, the fur, the lavender, and the patchouli. Get a look at that brush. Gorgeous lather, beautiful. Okay, good to go. Let's get cleaned up. Mmm, it's quite nice too. <laughs> right, I'll put some heat into this razor. Go, and uh, let's go with the Global Shave Replis Speed. Nice. Yeah. Feels good. First few strokes feels very nice. It has that kind of, um, you probably heard of that, like a, a tinny sort of sound. Good feedback though. Yeah, as I say, I've never um, I've never used a super speed. I don't have one, I've never borrowed one. Uh, I have the red tip. Gillette. I'll tell you what though, this feels really comfortable. Not harsh at all, or just doing its job. Very good. Good slickness on the soap too. I think the soap probably could have took a bit more water, but we'll add that on the Second pass. It's a great scent, really nice. It's um, it's one of these calming scents for me. Uh, it feels it. It smells clean. In a soapy, it has a soapy lavender, like a little bit floral. Really nice. I think these uh, Gillette Wilkinson Sword Blades, um, I think they're the favourite of Ken's Surfs. They are very good. Yeah, they're not um, expensive and they're not overly sharp, just nice and smooth. Okay, first pass done. Great slickness on that soap. Let me rinse. I'll come back for pass number two. Cold water rinse. Okay, we're back for the second pass. Back to the gold digger. 
and the uh, <coughs> Siren Song soap from Black Ship Grooming. Very nice. Yeah, look, really nice lather. And uh, Black Ship Grooming have quite a good number of soaps, different scents. I'll tell you, if they're all like this base, very good. Right, second pass with the Reckless Speed. Yeah, Reckless Speed. I thought I got it wrong there. I was thinking Speedy Rep or Speedla Rep or Reckless Speed. Um, can you see that there? Yeah, I was at the. Uh, I had to go to the doctor's this morning just to get some bloods. But uh, nothing serious, just a routine. As you, when you get to 50, age 50, I know, I know I don't look it. When you get to 50, they do more checkups on your health. Uh, but um, so that was that. But I was at the doctor's in the waiting in the waiting kind of area, <laughs> and there was a guy came in, and he had a he had he was really struggling with this big backpack. It wasn't like a big mountaineer's thing, just a you know standard size, like a, just like a rucksack, and. Uh, but had one of these metal frames on it for carrying and stuff and he was really struggling with it so I helped him in and he came and sat down beside me and uh, he was um, he'd, uh, he'd experienced life shall we say He was covered in kind of homemade tattoos on his hands and stuff like that. An interesting character. So he sat down, he sat down beside me and uh, he took some change out of his pocket and he took out two 50 pence pieces and he put one on the floor about three feet in front of him and one on the seat next to him, between him and me. And uh, <laughs> I thought to myself, here we go. This, uh, this guy's a little bit out there, but I like people like that. I mean, people like that. Um, you know, often people see people with mental health issues and stuff like that, and they won't speak to them and they'll kind of shy away from them. Understandably, maybe they're a little bit wary of them, but this guy, this guy looked okay. I knew he was okay. and So, um, I got chatting to him and he was saying, what are you here for? And I was telling him, we'll just get some bloods and stuff. I said, what about yourself? Or oh, I can't say, I'd rather not say, okay, that's fine. Then uh, he proceeded to tell me that he'd written 101 number one hit singles, um, records, songs. <laughs> and I said, well, that's absolutely fantastic. And he says, each one of them, each song I've written, of the 101, it's for the 101 children I saved. I was like, well, good for you, buddy. And he said, thank you. And then I said to him, what's the thing with the 50 pence? Put the 50 pence in front of you and one between us on the seat. That so the children don't come and touch the bag. And he, and he went like he was pointing with his finger right in my face. So they don't touch the bag. And I just looked at him. Okay. But um, 
there's something else I want to tell you about, but let me rinse it off. Second pass done, feels fantastic. I'll rinse it off and we'll, uh, with cold water, we'll come back to this shave and I'll tell you more about this uh, interesting guy at the doctors. Right, back for the third pass. That second pass was, uh, felt really nice actually. In terms of aggressiveness, that razor is probably about, um, I think it's, I think it's uh, on the website, it's 2.5 out of 5 in the aggression scale. And I'd say that's probably a bang on, probably spot on, yeah. It's not aggressive, it doesn't feel harsh. It feels nice to use. Right, <laughs> so getting back to this guy in the doctor's surgery, um, the waiting area, so he'd said to me, that's so the children don't touch the bag, okay, uh, third pass against the grey, listen to that. He then said to me, I'm with are you familiar with the song, Road to Hell? And I thought, yep, I'm familiar with that song. He said, I wrote that and I gave it to Chris Rea. I was like, good for you. It's a, it's a good song. He said, thanks. He then said, do you know the song, Strawberry Fields Forever? <laughs> I said, yeah, by the Beatles. No, I wrote that and gave it to John Lennon. John Lennon was a good friend of mine. So, there you go. For all you Beatles buffs, shave a thon, I know you're into the Beatles and stuff like that. It wasn't uh, McCartney and Lennon that wrote that. It was uh, this guy at the, uh, the doctors. But then as soon as he told me that, the, uh, the doctor called me, so I had to go into the, uh, the surgery to get my bloods. And when I came back out, the guy was still sitting there. Um, he was sitting on his own and uh, he still had the, he still had the 50 pence in front of him <laughs> next to him on the seat. So the children don't come and touch the back. <laughs> But yeah, a very uh, interesting character. You, it takes all sorts, I guess. That's what makes life so interesting, I guess, isn't it? Oh, look, a little weeper there. Yeah, um, it's people like that, you know. I'll speak to anyone. And uh, it's often the case of people with um, mental health issues. You know, that's the trouble. People don't speak to them enough, don't listen to them. But um, there you go. I'll listen to them. Right, three passes done. Oh, that's cold. Right, let's see if there's anything being picked up on this shave. Yep, a little bit there. Just the usual on the neck. The soap feels fantastic in this brush. Yeah, one little weeper down there on that little trouble spot. The reckless speed, very good, very, very good. Yeah, you 
you can just hear it there. What's your special Valentine's shave then? Are you shaving tonight? Going out for a meal or are you just waiting till the weekend just so you've got time to just be nice and relaxed? There's a little bit down here. It's very gentle. One tiny bit there. Chasing the BBS. Feels good. Okay, we're gonna have a quick rinse. Feels great. All right, let's see how much soap's left in this. Plenty, plenty of soap. Yeah, what a great lather, look, you can see there. Okay, face wash time with this Siren Song soap from Black Ship Grooming. Um, I'll leave this on. Rinse out my gear. I'll see you for the post shave. Beautiful. Skin feels great. Really nice. Okay, post shave. Um, I've been using this the last couple of shaves. I've shaved off camera um, and I've been trying these out. I've had them for a while, a good long time actually, uh, and they're really, really good. Um, so the post shave is Bart's After Shave Lotion, Rosemary and Sandalwood. Uh, this is a Scottish company, uh, Bart's. This is made with argan oil, so it's quite oily when you put it on to start with. So two pumps for me, one, two. Um, just that much in the hand, just warm it through. And there's no alcohol in this, so you don't get a burn from it. Just a really, really nice scent. Yeah, just a nice... Um, just a nice feeling on the skin. It soaks in pretty quick, although it is um, oily based. Nice scent. Yeah, no burn because there's no alcohol in it, so... And argan oil is good for the skin, good uh, conditioning properties and stuff. And finishing off with Bart's uh, lavender aftershave balm. So two pumps of the oil, one, two, three, four pumps of that. Probably too much, but it will rub in quick. Yeah, Bart's Balms, a Scottish company. There's a couple of little weepers there, is there? Maybe. Let's see how it goes. Can't get much closer than that. Great shave. Very nice. Yeah, so that's that pretty much um, dried in. Yeah, skin feels great, really good. Okay, let me show you what we've used in this wonderful, wonderful Valentine's Day shave. Uh, the Razor, fantastic, Global Shave Club Repli Speed, uh, replica of a 1949 Super Speed. Twist it open, there it are, and inside that I had a brand new Gillette Wilkinson Sword blade, which comes supplied with the Razor. Just closing the doors up again. Yeah, good Razor, not too aggressive, nice little weight to it. Nicely made, very good. Uh, soap, Black Ship Grooming, Siren Song. Very kindly gifted to me from Ernie Rocha. Thank you, Ernie, really appreciate that. Um, great soap, here it is here, all cleaned out. Yeah, lovely, lovely soap. Easy to lather, great protection, cushion glide. The scent, fantastic, really good. Uh, the scent on that is Lavender Fur Ylang Ylang. Lang Lang, bergamot and patchouli. 
very nice. Uh, the brush, that Dan Rob, gold digger. There it is here. Great brush with a, I think it's a 24 millimeter boss knot. Fantastic. Rob Moffat makes some great brushes. Um, three passes, pickups, no problems. Uh, post shave, cold water rinse. Post shave was Bart's Balm. Bart's sandalwood. Uh, sandalwood. Yeah, it's sandalwood. Rosemary and sandalwood. <laughs> Pardon me, excuse me. Rosemary and sandalwood. Uh, argan oil infused after shave lotion. And finished it off with Bart's lavender balm. Very good stuff. Ah, and we started it before the shave. Truth and Hill. Uh, Pre-shave oil, like a citrusy scent. The blade inside that, there we go, Gillette Wilkinson sword. And that, ladies and gents, is it. Yeah, two little dots here. I want there. But other than that, pretty damn fine shave. Yeah, feels good. Feels really good. Okay, that's all from me for today. Um, Enjoy the rest of your Valentine's Day or your Valentine's weekend if you're doing something special with a loved one. Good luck to you. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Good luck to you. Well, you know it's going to end in tears. Uh, well, don't say I didn't warn you. Right, whatever. <laughs> now, if you're, uh, if you're celebrating Valentine's Day with a loved one, well done. <laughs> that sounds even worse. <laughs> right, okay, I'm going now. Um, until the next time, have yourselves a great weekend, spend it with loved ones and chill out and relax and just do the things you do. Uh, and thank you very much for all your support, all the comments and stuff like that. I think I'm pretty much up to date. Um, so I'll get this uploaded and uh, look forward to seeing you all in the next shave. Until then, take care of yourselves. <laughs>